Hello guys, you're welcome to another video. This is a practical session. In this video, I'll be showing you guys the three light setup for a beauty shoot. You know, I'll be shooting with three different lights and I'll be creating a beautiful clamshell lighting for a beauty shoot. I'll show you the breakdown from start to finish, my approach, my thought process on how I was able to create this beautiful results that you are seeing on the screen right now. So let me show you my light setup. Let's just get started. So come with me. My first light, is this backlight this is a godox 8600 light i was using that my backlight i connected a cone to it just to control the spread of the light on the subject i'll be shooting today uh that's my backlight i'll be shooting as low as 64 or 128 so i can get a soft result so it's not going to be too harsh on my subject so like i said earlier it's a clamshell lighting setup and what is clamshell lighting clamshell lighting is a type of lighting where you have two lights 45 degrees from the subject one coming from above and one coming from beneath so if, as you look at this now you see that i have my main light up here 45 degrees to where the subject is gonna be you know after this session i will show you guys what i'm talking about so this is uh the main light 45 degrees of where the subject is gonna be and this is my field light also 45 degrees to where my subject is gonna be as you can see one thing i love about this light setup is that it reduces the intensity of the shadows under the chain. Because when you connect your main light as the, this one is placed, you tend to have a lot of shadows under the nose here and under the chain here. And shadows can be beautiful. And if that's what you want to create, that's not clamshell. But if you want to get beautiful clamshell results, it's advisable to create a feel. You know, this works more like a reflector, but this is more powerful and more rich. It's more like lights. So it's like you're filling up all the shadow. Of course, the shadow will still be there, for me, when I'm shooting clamshell, I make sure the field light power is as low as possible. Somewhere around 64 to 128 because I'm connected. What I connected is the Godox uh, 8600 BM, you know, so it's a powerful light, the 600 watt light. So I'd make it as low as possible to like, let's say 128, you know, so that it's not going to be too strong for the main light. So for my main light, I'm shooting with this small SML lighting, I got it from camera joint and uh, I have my Godox 8100 Pro connected to it. So my backlight is an 8600, my field light is an 8600 also, but my main light in this case, I'm shooting with 8100 as my main light. So I'm going to be taking up the power as high as one over four, you know, because <laughs> you know, an 8100 light can't compete with 8600 light. But I chose to just use this, just to show you what all these small light scenes can do. You don't have to shoot with powerful light like 8600 as your main light. Sometimes just an 8100 light can really give you beautiful results. So our main light is going to be this on this very portable small AD, uh, on this portable small XM, SML softbox. I use this softbox a lot for weddings and events because it's very light, very mobile. This big softbox down here is also SML, but, but this is obviously way bigger than the main light, but it's going to create a, a very beautiful feel that's going to wrap around the neck of the subject up onto the side of our face and give us that beautiful flattering result. I'm sure you guys will love what we are going to create so let's get straight to the shoot let's have one apple box here so we can place uh, have the model place our legs on it for more comfort and uh, for me to get the type of pose i'm looking to achieve okay so i want the clamshell to feather a bit so i'm not i'm going to bring it back a bit so it can just fill up her face i'm shooting with 85 mm sigma at 1.4 and i'm shooting with nikon z62 i have my x2t trigger from godox my aperture is going to be set at f2 my shutter speed right now is at 400 so i'll just leave it at that and my iso is at 100 so what i'm going to do is to power my backlight that's going to be the first thing i power so i'm turning off my main light i'm turning off my fuel so i'll start with my backlight at 64 i'll start with my backlight at 64 okay so let me take up the power of my backlight uh it's i prefer it to be stronger because of our air. Just keep, just relax your arm. Uh, okay. All right, so now let me turn on my fuel. This looks good, actually. Let me take up my eyes so and create something dramatic. Just keep your eyes on me like that. So can you open up your arms a bit? Yes, just like that. Keep your eyes on me. Don't change your pose. Look at that. Your right arm, stretch it forward a bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Turn your head this way. Some more. Raise your chin a bit. Close your eyes. 
Okay, let's try this other side. I think I prefer this other side. Good, like that. Close your eyes. Bring your head back this way a bit. Good. Look at her. Up. Then close your eyes. Good. So take your left arm on your chest. Your left arm up. Not like, bring up your arm. Like this. Look at me. Yes. A little bit this way. Mm -hmm. Good. So keep your eyes on her. Up above her. But don't close your eyes this time. Look up a bit more. Yes. Good. Good. So place your hand back in front. So you lean forward some more. Turn your head. Look at me straight. Good. Okay. You're going to turn your head this way some more. Good. Mm hmm Okay, good. So, I think we have some nice shots here already. So, let us introduce the, the feel. So, let me take my ISO back to 100. So, the other shots I just took, this set of pictures that you are seeing on the screen right now, was taken with just the back lights as my main light. You know, so my shutter was on F2, my, uh, my shutter was on 400, my aperture was on F2, but I took my ISO all the way to 1600 to make it that exposed. But in this case now, I'm adding my fuel back into the frame, just the fuel. I've not turned on my main light yet. So my ISO is back at 100. So I can take some shots with the fuel just to test. So this type of lighting is not very flattering. It looks like campfire lighting, as you can see. Like there's a fire down in front of her. So it's not very flattering for beauty, but it's actually very dramatic. So if you are trying to create something artistic, this can be a beautiful light setup, but for beauty, not the best, not the best. So now let us introduce our main lights. So because I'm shooting with 8100 as my main light, I have to take up the power to be able to compete with the 8600 lights I'm using. So my power is at one over four, still the same setting, F2, shutter at 400 and IS 100. So look at me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's off. This is a quick reminder to like this video and subscribe to this channel. It will mean a whole lot to me and the Academy if you do this so that more people can learn from what we have to share. So like this video now and subscribe to this channel. Let's get back to the video. So my white balance is set at 4,500 for this shot. I don't want it to be too warm and I love my white balance to a little bit blue because I'm shooting a dark skin person. So place your arm back down. Mm -hmm. But don't stretch it too forward. Bring it up a bit. In both hands. Mm -hmm. Good. 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 Turn your head a bit this way, but not too far. Your eyes are still on the camera. Okay, open your eyes. Open your mouth slightly, but not too much, yeah. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, if I am to turn off the fuel, I want to show you guys the difference of what we would get. So the fuel is a A, so I'll turn off the fuel. Look at me. This is what we get if I turn off the fuel. Can you see the difference in the shadows? Okay, I know. I think the fuel was not working before. It looks the same. Just a second. It's working. I'm not sure it was working before. This one? Okay, it's working, it's working. It's working. Uh, it's working. Okay. All right, so let me take with the fuel. Mm -hmm. With the fuel, keep your eyes on me. Good. Good. Okay, so you can play with the direction of your arm, just do your thing. Mm hmm. You see that air light? Yeah. 
Beautiful. Give me that pose again. Hands in the middle like that. Uh, a little bit to the side. To this side. More. Then look straight at me. Chin up a bit. That arm on your chest. Bring it. Take it beside your, your face. But you know, keep your eyes straight at me. Uh -huh. Make place under your earrings. Uh -huh. To the side a bit more. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Close your eyes. Uh, your mouth. Don't try to smile. Just soft, yeah. Huh? Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let me show you guys without the feel. So I'm turning off my feel light and we have just the main light. You will see that there's going to be more intense shadow. Mm -hmm. So this is without the feel and this is with the feel. So you won't see much of a difference, but it's actually there. And if I want the feel to fill in the shadow more, all I have to do is to take up the power, but I really don't want to because the shadow also adds to the beauty of the of the image so can you turn a bit to this side let me move the apple box that way okay or take out the apple box let me see how our legs will look place your two legs up okay good good so your hands in front like that good just look at me let me move this feel a bit to this side or bring it closer to me okay stop okay so can you lean forward this way a bit yes Good. Just keep that pose like that. Keep that pose like that. Now, I think I need to take up my... If we my foot a so I just take up my eye, so. Mm, can I do differently? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, take your right leg down. I want to see something. Right, yes. Okay, so it's good. Then your head, bend it this way, this other way. Good. That's that what you just did now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, good. Let me play a bit with the light and create more intense shadow on our face. I like this one. Uh, backlight 32. I'm going to use the backlight. Uh -huh. Okay. Cross your legs. Can you? Place the other one down. Are you comfortable? Then a little bend this way. Yes. Then your right arm, bring it up a bit. Yes, that's fine. Good. Chin up. More. Chin up. Good. Drop it down a bit. Mm -hmm. Just keep that pose like that. Good. See that beautiful shadow on that chin? It's stunning. Then your right arm, place it on your body. Let me see. Yeah, something like that. Good. So I like this, but look at the light, up at the light. Take your head up a bit. Close your eyes. Bring your head this way. Open your eyes. Look. Close your eyes again. Mm -hmm. Good. Your, your, please let one leg be ahead of the other. The other one in front is dead. Come, move forward a bit. Can you lift your leg? Let me see. Okay, not bad. Yeah. So place your arm up. This one, this other one. Good. Mm 
Can you lift your legs up? Yes. Good. Look up. Close your eyes. Turn your head this way a bit. Good. Close your eyes. Mm-hmm. Keep your eyes closed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So let us quickly use continuous. 